Flick is here. Hey, Alexa. Hey, Heaven's Brat. Let's change clothes. Like I've been sleeping all day though. Get changed. Hey Savannah. Definitely feeling comfy today. My big comfy t shirt. Yeah. Have you been? I'm okay. How are you? They gave me Versed and something else, so I was sedated, but I wasn't like intubated. So, hey, Derp. Yeah, I slept through the reco and like entire recovery period, then I slept just about the entire drive home too, so lots of sleeping. Ugh. I feel okay. Well, thank you, Derp. Hey Timmy. <clears throat> Welcome back, thank you. I feel okay. The procedure was stressful. I thought I was going to have to fight somebody in registration. Oh, fish bait. Thank you. You know I love me some fish bait. Oh my gosh, I'll fight him for you. Dude, I don't know what the deal is. Like, they sent my order in. Y'all know how long I waited to get scheduled because it was going through the pre-certification process with my insurance. Oh my God, little Nuggy, what's up? <laughs> yeah, I'm little Nugs. That's hilarious. No problem. This week our town's festival was super busy. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I will definitely either open it on live or post about it. One or the other. But yeah, so like Yeah, cut your stream video. Yeah, welcome. So I get down to do all the registration stuff and they had to change my name because they had my maiden name and that was a whole thing. And then the registrar lady had to go, she had to get up and ask somebody a question like four different times about my account. And then she comes back and she's like, well, wait, don't you have web TPA insurance? And I said, no. Well, well, do you have insurance through your through your job? And I'm like, yes. I'm like, you're liter you literally have the card in front of you. You've already made a copy of it. And like, I says I have a chance to stream tomorrow. Nice. I think the same hair. That's funny. And then uh, she's like, well, I don't know. We got, it says to contact your insurance and blah blah blah. And then I lost my freaking mind. And I told her, I was like, look, y'all have had this order since Friday a week ago. It's been like 10 days, eight business days that y'all have had 
or whatever it was, would it be nine, t yeah, eight business days that y'all have had this order and it's supposed to go through pre-cert before I could even make this appointment. I said, I am not leaving this building until you give me this procedure today. And I flipped my shit. How do you kick the dirt? You just press Y to kick the dirt back over the hole. And then I went back out into the waiting area where my husband was and he saw that I was visibly upset. And the first thing I said really loudly to all the other patients could hear, I said, I'm going to fight somebody today. So, heck yeah, I know my patient rights. You have to water your produce every day to get the most yield out of it. Hey, class sitter, how are you? Little Blossom, hi. Hey, Mason. Yeah, so after that incident, the registrar lady had to go get her manager to deal with all of it, so. I had my uh, biopsy today, needless to say, just like I told them I was going to. You finally got Brewster. Yeah, I saw. You care just thank you. Never done this thing before. Oh, that's fun. Feel that shit. I want to fight people sometimes. Well, like, I don't know. Because what I, <laughs> I told them, I said, I'm having this procedure today and I'm not paying a dime for it because y'all are going to bill my insurance and then the bills are going to show up that I'm going to pay for. But I am not paying for anything today. And they were like, uh-huh, we understand, yeah, yeah. So, uh, this is Animal Crossing New Horizons on the Switch. <laughs> Timmy doesn't use a shield in the same way that I will not use a torch in Breath of the Wild. So we get to go through that too. Oh my god, Kit Kat, I'm so sorry. I hope they don't give you as much hassle as they gave me today. And I hope everything comes out well. Because trust me, I feel you genuinely. Skylar, thank you for the rose. How long have you been working on your island? 365 hours. How do you do the blackout shrine? You just do it. Throw bombs. <laughs> Timmy, that I would expect no other response from you. <laughs> I do use a capture card. Um, I use an Elgato capture card. And, um... Yeah, fire rod as well. Or you use stasis and it lights up the the enemies in in um, the ye the yellow color. You got the spooky arch? Yes. We need to go see what the spooky items are. Oh, we need to finish doing this first. Let's not get distracted. The white pumpkins come from the pumpkin starts just like all four colors do, but they're not as common as like the orange pumpkins. So you just have to buy a bunch of pumpkin starts. The storage container f comes from upgrading your home um, all the way and then upgrading your home storage to at least the 500,000 storage level. Imagination. Marina's my favorite. I love Marina. She's really sweet. Hi, Lux One. Built a record stand yesterday. Oh, that's fun. I've been going back and forth for days trying to get enough pumpkins to decorate my island. How many pumpkins do you need? Where did you get that hair? I grew it out of my head. No, I don't know. It's just a regular, regular hair. I didn't do anything special to get it. I'm going to play Breath of the Wild tonight for the 400th time. That's awesome. Alexa has a day tomorrow. Love how you have the plants. Thank you. You have to water your produce so that 
it will produce more produce. Is he hot? <laughs> we getting coffee? Oh, nice. So happy I caught you today. Yeah, a little outside my normal time, but um, my husband is napping on the couch in there. He's been doing all the driving to all of our stuff lately, and we were up at like 4 o'clock this morning so that we could make it to the doctor on time, and we're both just wiped out. How do you get your product beds to look like that? I use, uh, and when you can terraform, there's like a dirt path you can use. So I just put it underneath the little vegetable patches so it looks like a little garden area. I have played Stardew Valley. I don't like regularly play. I cannot remember the last time I picked up Stardew Valley. Doing daily on your island. Shake all your trees. Um, it kind of depends on what your goals are. I try to get coffee from Brewster every day. Um, because I want his gyroid. Someone gave me one, but I'm trying to earn his gyroid. I don't play Dreamlight Valley. Um, make sure you tend to your produce every day. That way you get the highest yield out of it. Water everything. I have a whole list of like daily tasks I try to do. How do I get furniture from trees? You gotta shake it. Shake the trees. You sh your trees should drop two furniture items a day. Yeah, talk and gift. The pink octopus, her name is Marina. She is so cute. Her whole house is pink as well. Nice. If you planted 24 and it gave you 45, it should have given you three bags of 24. Yeah, always shake with a net. Always shake with a net. You were just watching my stream from Monday? No, you... The wasps are really easy to catch. Um... I hear a balloon maybe yes I do go watch my video on how to catch the wasps and it will change your wasp catching and tree shaking for sure that's a fast one see an island tour sure we'll do an island tour eventually I'm just gonna work on my daily tasks um, you can eat it or you can sell it you get more money to sell food rather than um, you get more money selling food than you do just selling the items Marina in a house with Zucker oh yeah that would be cute when do they get food when you got like the veggies and stuff Yeah, that or if you've got Harv's Island set up, uh, the, his little co-op leaf will be out there as well. How do you plant bell trees? You can plant one bell tree daily. Hey, Mina. Um, and you'll you plant it in the the gold spot that you dig up a thousand bells out of. I do have all the fruit trees. I do have all of the vegetables. I got them from traveling and or purchasing them from leaf. You have to grow the bell trees. How far have you gotten happy homes? I don't know. Um, I guess I could look and see how many houses I've done. I don't think it's, I think it's like 15 maybe. You can, but it's not guaranteed over 10K. It's a gamble, but sometimes it pays off. We bit, we did do the restaurant yesterday in Happy Homes. Want to come visit my island? No, thank you. I don't tend to visit people's islands on live. No, they, there's no new bugs or fish. It's all the same. Um... 
you just grow the wheat and then you can make it into flour if you've got the DIYs to do that. The pants press just fell out of my sky too. That's funny. Oh, see, there's a piece of furniture. It's a fragrance diffuser. All the bugs and fish, and it's not going well. Do you have a list? Because I have a list you can download. The shed is available for purchase after you've done all of your home upgrades and at least the 500,000 bell uh, home storage upgrade. Yeah, you don't have to fully upgrade your home storage to have access to it, but then you can purchase it from the Nook Miles um, the Nook Miles ATM. When can you change the texture of the ground? Um, you can do terraforming and make paths and stuff. That's what this all is right here. How'd you get all the pumpkin stuff? It's uh, Halloween time. A lot of people gifted me this stuff. This, the um, carnival items you can purchase from the Nook Miles thing, and then I just had them customized to a different color. You should start going live with your island. Yeah, you can customize the plaza items with Cyrus and Reese out on Harv's Island. You cannot do it with customization kits. How are you live with your island and face cam? I have a stream key through TikTok that I applied for and I use an agency that they have put in place so people can do live like this and uh, all that good stuff. Yeah, getting Harv's Island set up is super helpful um, because you can customize stuff out there. Red is out there. Kix is out there. Leaf is always out there. And they still come and visit your island and they shut their little stores down on Harv's Island to come visit yours. This is Animal Crossing New Horizons on the Switch. No, it's tedious trying to get the stream key, but once you have it, it's not difficult to figure out how to do. Like, everything I learned about streaming, I pretty much learned from Googling how to do it or watching YouTube videos on how to use OBS and that kind of thing. How'd you get white pumpkins? They come from the pumpkin starts. All the pieces are always fake after I got one reel. Um, okay, <coughs> white pumpkins come from pumpkin starts. Um, everybody's nets in their shops are different colors, apparently. Okay, if you have red set up out on Harv's Island, buy a piece of art from him every single day, whether it be real, whether it be fake, whatever. Buy something from him, and he'll rotate his stock. If you have questions as to what's real or what's fake, you can Google it, or I have lists available. Um, came across my FYP and this, oh, that's awesome. Let me show y'all my list real quick. Mine are laminated, um, but you can download them as Google Docs and print them out. But here's a complete painting list. And there's spots you can check them off as you donate them to uh, the museum. And it tells you how to determine the real from the fake. And then there's also a sculpture list that does the same. And then in addition to those, and this is all in my link tree. These are free to download. Um, I also have lists of fish and bugs. The type of fish or bug the month of the year that it's available, 
for the northern hemisphere i didn't do the southern hemisphere because i'm in the northern hemisphere uh the time of day it's available where it's available meaning like some bugs you can only catch on palm trees or on tree stumps some fish you can only catch off the pier some of them you can only catch in ponds that kind of thing and then how many bells they're worth if you choose to sell them at nook's cranny but if you've got the storage space i recommend selling saving all of them and selling them to flick or cj I do not time travel. All of this I have done via grinding. Welcome to the Chancelli portion of the life. It's true. Le <laughs> I feel like I'm teaching class. All right, students. This is how you should ACNH. <laughs> <Shut up, teach. clears throat> Spent hours fishing and it's under the big ones. I've caught two of the four off the pier and I have gone through a lot of bait. You, um, I guess you can customize them. I created my five star island. Oh, thank you. I've played 365 hours, lots of hours. Where can you find peaches? Um, take them from a friend or, um, just keep searching mystery islands like you do all the other fruits. I like those boots. Those would go good with my Link outfit. I need to stretch out. Hold on. Oh, kind of uncomfortable. <laughs> my Zoom. My TED Talk Zoom. Played over a thousand hours. That's awesome. How do you get oranges? Any of the fruits and vegetables can basically be gotten by doing mystery tours. And when I say mystery tours, I mean going by the boat or going by the plane and just grinding the mystery islands until you find them. There are other ways to do it. You could go to a treasure island, but I don't do treasure islands. Or you could go to, um, look at all these boots. Um, go to a friend who also plays, go to their island and see if they'll let you take anything from there. Not a lot of good stuff in here today that I really want. Just the boots. I do travel with Captain every day. The ACNH app is super. Yeah, there is an app as well. Yeah, and I also open my island up and let people come and take stuff. Honestly, I should probably do that tomorrow. I can't work tomorrow since I had anesthesia today, but. Bye, Derp. See you later. The cowboy boots are cute. Yeah, I think I already have those. Yeah, there's a costume that to me looks vaguely like a Link costume. It's not a real Link costume. Um, I don't remember what it's called. Let's look because now I'm curious. How are you feeling? I'm tired. A little sore. Um... It's this. It's a sprite costume. And then I usually put Where's those boots I just bought? So there you go. It's vaguely linkish. I'm gonna cancel my surgery on the AT because I'm scared to get anesthesia. Anesthesia is awesome. <laughs> um Yeah, so this is I know they need a hat, but this is vague. I mean you can get a sword and you can get the green, but it's vaguely linkish to me. Um anesthesia's weird, but it's fun. I very much enjoy it. Um, don't read the horror stories. Those aren't helpful. 
Everything comes with risk. Everything in life. Waking up every day and walking around the world comes with risk. There's horror stories about people that walked outside and got hit by a car or whatever, but that shouldn't stop you from doing stuff you need to do. Um, playing computer pan, yeah. For me, I mean, it can be scary, but it's more for me the fear of the unknown than anything. But mostly, the anesthesia just burns a little bit when it goes in. It's kind of a, like, stinging sensation. And then you feel it kind of right between your eyes. Like, it immediately makes your brain swim. And then, honestly, you're asleep in about four seconds. And um, that's it. The mage boost might look at that. Yeah. How do you get Able Sister Shop? Uh, it just comes with upgrading your island. I cannot remember exactly how because it's been a hot minute. At least upgraded your townhouse and able to buy stuff from Able Sister. There you go. Thank you. Some of the stuff, it's been so long since I've done it, I don't remember how to do it. I've had surgery anesthesia was okay. Just felt a little weird. Yeah, I mean, it's a little weird for sure. But if they give you Versed, which they usually do, you don't really remember much of anything. It's like a mind eraser in the best kind of way. I leave my fossils um, because I'm going to open my island up to visitors and let them take them because I don't want them. So for me, when they give me Versed, um, what time tomorrow? I don't know. I don't know if I'll do it tomorrow. I don't know how I'm going to feel tomorrow. Hey, Huli. What a lovely garden. Thank you. This is extra. I just needed to plant um, to hit a goal. For me, it's more like... I guess the question would be, are you an out-of-control drunk? Like, um, it's kind of similar, I feel like. But, um, I'm not playing on the computer. I'm playing on my Switch, but I have a stream key that routes it through my computer to y'all. But the clicky clicks you're hearing are my click. It's my clicky controller. It's right by my microphone. Some people think that it's keys on a keyboard. Love your watch. Hope you're doing good. I'm doing good. I'm just really tired today. What are you watering? Um, the back is, I think, some sort of plant. Uh, some sort of plant. That was a dumb answer. Some sort of pumpkin, then wheat, and then I think tomatoes, and then this is sugar cane. If you water it every day, it will produce a higher yield of vegetables. I did have the biopsy this morning. I did. Watching your playing Odyssey. I am. I'm looking up at my television, but I can also, there's also a screen right here, but my TV is large and I'm blind. So. How do I do that? You have to apply for a stream key with TikTok and you have to have at least a thousand followers to go live to begin with. Um, bro, I hope you're doing okay. Well wishes. I feel okay. I'm definitely tired just from getting up early as fuck this morning. And um all of that. So biopsy for what? Sorry I'm new here. It's okay. <laughs> she does look just like me. I'm a kidney transplant patient, and my labs have been kind of wonky lately. And we're finally to the point where we need to do a biopsy to see what's going on. So my biopsy was this morning. Oh, I can't go live. How was your biopsy? It was... Uh, the fossils are for people to come and take when I open my island. 
Did you stream a lot before getting the stream key? I did. Why'd you put up so many questions about the fossils today? So I have like 24 million bells in the bank. I've got like 115,000 nook miles. I don't really need any more. So typically I save all my extra produce. I save all my fossils. I do all that. And then I have days where I open my island up and allow people to come and take what they need. I've been playing this island for 365 hours. That's how I've done all this. I was on Twitch first. I started streaming Twitch first. Um, and then I came over here and got the thousand and was able to go live over here. And then the stream key process was a whole thing. But someone asked if I knew I was wanting I never imagined myself to be a content creator. Um, ever. But in January, I had surgery. God, I sound like a real sick person today. In January, I had surgery. It was elective. And mm, so I'm so glad I got it. I was able to have a hysterectomy in January, but it required me to stay home from work for six weeks, and I wasn't able to lift more than 10 pounds for six weeks, and I wasn't able to do, like, anything. I couldn't drive a car for, like, at least three, three, I think almost four weeks. I didn't even, I wasn't even driving a car. And so I was like, hey, if I'm going to play video games anyway, I might as well learn how to stream. That seems really cool. I like watching people stream, so why don't I learn how to do it? And so I spent that time reading and researching and learning and figuring it all out and I learned how to stream so um, yeah that's kind of how it began and now here we are at like over 8,000 freaking followers on here and it's wild and I love it how do you get friends on this share your um, switch code with people my favorite part of the island? Yeah, I'll show y'all. Let me dig up these gyroids. Phoebe looks sad. Let's go talk to her real quick. Went from a switch to the OLED without back in my island. I had to restart. Oh my gosh. The coins coming out of the tree are not money trees. That's just normal stuff that comes out. Uh, when you shake trees. When you do your daily tree shaking. With people, there's places online you can go and um, share your switch code with folks. Uh, I have a Discord. If you're if you're into Discord, if you have Discord, there's a link in my profile, and there's a whole channel of people who have shared their switch codes that want friends. And um, I mean, you can share your switch code in the chat right here. That's fine. I don't care. And uh, yeah. And then you add them as friends, and you can go visit your friends on here or open your island up to your friends. My Discord link is in my link tree. You have cute residents. Thank you. Um, I use Amiibo coins to get the residents I want. So, except um, freaking uh, Felicity. She got filled in when I sent somebody off. Uh, I didn't have time to go villager hunting and Tom Nook was like here's this bitch and I said okay the best way to get new residents I I love using amiibo coins I made a video about using amiibo coins oh my gosh it's been a long time since I've seen a centipede pop out of one of these hoes um <laughs> there we go I have not completed my museum thank you for the cloud bread cook star I need spooky res. Yeah. Your code is in your profile. Like if you are on your main screen of your Switch like this and you go here, that friend code right there, the SW code, that's your Switch code. Oh, or on your passport. That's way easier. There you go. <laughs> How do you get rid of residents you don't want? Amiibo coins. That's my answer to all the resident questions today. There's no easy way to get rid of them. You have three bears and you need to get rid of some. Uh, 
Amiibos. I love Amiibos. What's up, Marina? It's going great. Do you want a gift? I'm going to give you a wall of void. Oh, I don't want to destroy. Yeah, you, you can have a dream code. That's true. I need to get a dream code set up. Over a thousand hours on ACNH alone. Very nice. Fishing tourney on Saturday. That way they don't steal stuff. That's what all my extra fencing is for. It's for to keep people from stealing stuff when they come. Not that anyone would do that. They absolutely would. It's happened. <laughs> People will absolutely come and ravage your island like locusts. What do we got? 42,000 bells. See? You can plant more than 10,000. <clears> you said trade... Pillager, you have to pick you that gift or not, so I don't gift. Oh. Yeah, see, it works occasionally. Not all the time. Do I not have an axe? That's weird. Oh, okay, so is the way that popped up. Steal what? They can pick fruit off your trees. They can pick um, fruit out of your garden. They can steal anything that's dropped and not placed. Um, whatever they can, um, like for me, when I open my island, I don't want people to hang around for a long time because usually I have a line of people waiting to get into my island and that way I have, so I have all of my water closed off so they can't fish, they can't get into my ocean and swim around that kind of thing. It's it is decorated, yeah. Hi Jonathan. There yeah, you can put as much you can put up to ninety nine thousand bells into your money tree, but only ten thousand is guaranteed. So it's a gamble to go above that. As long as I don't pick my golden roses, well they can do that too. So protect your golden roses. Anything you don't want messed with, protect if you open your island up. Nuggy, how are you? I'm okay. I'm tired, but I'm okay. The biopsy went okay. Um, hopefully about a week for results. So we'll see. Good, I've been worried about you. Oh, don't worry about me. Bye, Emmy. Have a good rest of your day at work. So you just plant money and a tree grows out and you shake money out of it. Um, you have to find... I love you too, boo-boo. Love watching you. Okay, thank you. We worked hard for our stuff. How do you put in money? Okay, you have to find... You have to find... Um, the golden shiny area to bury. You can't just plant money anywhere. Did you work and collect everything or have you paid? No, I've collect I've worked for everything. I don't time travel and I don't do treasure islands. Everything you see I've worked for. The golden watering can comes from when you become a five-star island, you get a DIY for a golden watering can. I think I've only got like one bug in my pocket. Yeah.
Okay, we'll come back to Flick in a second. I haven't seen the gold shiny spot today yet. It's gotta be here somewhere. I tried it, it's amazing for my sound trade. So I've made like a Nookazon wish list because people ask what they can bring me when I open my island up. But I've never used it to like trade or anything. But I hear good things about it. I hear it's pretty legit. I need to go up a level. Also, I haven't picked anything off these trees. I get distracted so easily in this game. Oh my god, I can't believe I shook that tree without a net in my hand. I'm so close to the, whatever, 500 shots. Nugazan is the best, yeah. These are Lily of the Valley. They appear when you're a five-star island. It's legit, yeah. Blue flowers? Oh, maybe they look blue. Yeah, these are Lily of the Valley. Just like miss these trees. Etsy is good? Really? Cool, thank you. Still working at five stars. Why can I get mine for five stars? Man, five stars? So for five stars, I try to recommend um your Halloween to cures. Thank you. Thank you. Having a good combination of items placed on your island that are stuff you've DIY'd and stuff you've purchased from like the Nook Miles purchasing area and from Nook's Cranny, but, um, and, and customizing it if you can is helpful. Um, you don't have to have like an insane amount of flowers, but a lot of flowers helps too. Uh, fencing is also good, like a variety of fencing. And don't forget to decorate your beaches. A lot of people forget that the beaches can be decorated. Maybe the gold one is here. No. Yeah, keep your island clean. Welcome back. Clean of like weeds and branches and stuff. Yeah, that's why I ended up making, like, yards for all of my villagers. It helps with fencing, and then if you put fencing up on the back wall here, people can't use their ladders to get down um, behind and go to places they're not allowed. So... No, oh, I meant to put those peaches and oranges in my pockets, and I didn't. Hours of practice. I'm also generally a very organized person, if you couldn't tell from my um, lists that I showed. <laughs> Is that like a baby changing station back there? What's up, my friend? 99,000 bells for that TV. Crazy. Let's buy this. Let's buy every Halloween item. I just started playing ACDH. So what's something you'd recommend to do first? Getting to a three-star island un unlocks a lot of 
stuff. Um, so do what you can to get to a three star island. Like ask Isabel her recommendations and things. Um, make as many bills as you can to pay off your loans quickly. And just remember that everything done can be undone. So, yeah. If you go talk to Isabel at Resident Services, um, she'll tell you your island rating. Why do you lay out fossils and jarways like that? Because I'm going to open my island up to visitors in the near future, and I want them to take them. It's like having a farmer's market and um, I want people to come and take stuff. There it is. I just keep walking by it. So this is the thing, not the flamingo, obviously. You go up here. Because you're going to be in the way of my tree now. This is the shiny gold area. It's Skull Isle. Um, that you can bury bells in. The expansion pack is worth it if you like to decorate. How'd you just walk so slow? Oh, I was pushing something. So you dig it up. It'll have a thousand bells. Do not cover your shiny gold hole. Go to your pocket. Pull out some bills. And then you can grab any number between 1,000 and 99,000 bells and uh, bury it in the hole. And we'll see what happens. You don't have to water the trees. It's just going to make money. It only makes the money once. And then I usually chop mine down after that. It's not true. We just dug up a tree that had 42,000 bells, three bags of them. You're only guaranteed up to 10,000 bells. Uh, flick. I'm looking for flick. I do not do treasure islands. Hey Pablo, the light green leaf is something I've customized. It's my, it specifically is my storage shed and um, that way I don't accidentally sell it. Ooh. Hi Ama, Ama, I can't say your name, X Amavocado, yeah. Hope you're somewhat better. I'm okay. I'm just tired. Uh, but I'm alright. How are you today? I'm good. I'm trying to stay awake and not sleep all day. I slept in recovery the whole time. And then I slept pretty much the entire drive home, which is like a two-hour drive home. So I'm trying not to sleep anymore so I don't totally screw up my uh, sleep schedule. I do have the Happy Homes Paradise. The biopsy was... I mean, it was a biopsy. Isn't sleep good for recovery? <laughs> yeah. But I have to work in a couple days. I'm not working tomorrow, but I have to go to work the next day. And I have to get up at like a disgustingly early time of day. I'm not a morning person, so I don't want to completely throw off my sleep schedule. I'm at work right now. I can't wait to go home and play. Yeah. <laughs> if you plant, you plant bells to get bells. Only in that gold spot. Oh, I need to pull bugs out. Um, 
Your flag is a treat. <laughs> yeah. How many homes have you decorated? I think I've only done like 15. But then I've also done a cafe, the restaurant, and um, um, a school. Yeah. What's the benefit of giving your residents presents? Um, if you want to increase your friendship levels with them, some people like to collect the residents' photos. Do you stream any other games? I usually stream Zelda games like in the afternoon and evening, but um, I needed something easy on the brain today. So, one sec, my sister's texting me. Oh, let's go. Okay, sorry. Okay, um, the storage shed comes from 6,000 nook miles after you have fully upgraded your home and upgraded to the 500,000 bells costing um, home storage. So it just gives you access to your home storage from anywhere on your island. Hi, Rocket by Shady. I don't know, like, having an organized island and figuring out how to decorate it, like, I just kind of, like, did whatever I felt looked good, was just, like, natural. Um, why do you have so many apples? I just have so many everything. Because I give my stuff away. Look at all these wasps in my pockets. Got pockets full of wasps. Where are you at, Flick? Do you use Discord for the stock market? No, I don't. I used a website called turnip.exchange. It's the same website I use when I open my island up to visitors as well. I've made a video about it that is pinned to the top of my TikTok. Um, so if anyone is curious about how I open my island to visitors and keep it fair and organized, that is how I do it. He pays 1.5 times the amount Nook's Cranny does. So like these wasps are worth 2,500 bells a piece. You're going to get 3750 from Flick. Look at that. So you can either, generally you can get them from traveling to mystery islands from the boat or from the plane. You can also have friends that will gift them to you. Uh, you can use Nookazon, um, that kind of thing. No, you can't put dug up flowers in storage. The trick is to either sell them at Nook's Cranny if you want the like five cents for them or to carry a trash can with you and then just trash them. Cottage course says you're too clear. Yeah, that'll happen. Hey, you're on my FYP. Oh my God. Hey, <laughs> what's up? There's a button to hold down. I don't know which one it is off the top of my head because it's one of those things where like, I don't even remember anymore. Um, let me finish emptying my packets. Do things disappear in the trash can? Yes, they disappear forever. Hold B, there you go, hold B. Regular walking, B. Just be careful when you run by 
um, the fish, it will scare them away if you like sprint by them. See, I'm scared to scare you. Oh, that one's too far away. There you go, scared them away. Also bugs, you'll scare the bugs away too. So just be aware. I want a theme for my island, but it's hard to get there. Um, I, never, I didn't do a theme for my island. I just picked different areas and kind of made cute little sections for each area. Man. Hate villagers come to, yeah, I don't like when they come to my house randomly uninvited. I try to go hide in the other room until they leave. But I don't hang out a lot in my main room of my house, so thankfully I'm usually not in the main room. And they're like, oh, guess she's not home, and then they leave. How many islands have you had? Just this one. My original island. <laughs> Uh, here's my map with all my villagers, so I don't have to list them all off. Sorry, I can't remember them all right now. My brain's still a little fuzzy. See that chat scrolling. You can move houses, you pay for the privilege to do so. My favorite room is your avatar room. Oh, thank you. So I live, oh my gosh. I use um, amiibo coins. Hold on. This is my original island, the only one I've ever had. Yeah, you can have up to 10 villagers. That's it. Hi, Nelly. So, amiibo coins. I got them on Etsy. That way I could pick which villagers I wanted. You read them with your Joy-Cons. And um, I don't have a TikTok about my house yet. And, um, yeah, they've got the little NFC chips in the back of them. And... Um, I have a whole bunch of them, but yeah, that's how I got, I uh, rib bot was on my island briefly as I throw it away. And, um, there's how I got Marina. I haven't invited Fauna yet. Um, Phoebe, that's how I got Marshall, Hopper, all of them. Amiibos also come in card form if you prefer cards. These are going to be my Zelda cards, but here they are. But yeah, um, like so. And my, both of these Etsy shops have closed, or I would love to direct y'all to them. So um, yeah, you just buy them from Etsy. A lot of the shops um, stinky. Yeah, I still have stinky. Um, so I use the amiibo coins to help them move out, to help them, to make them move out. I've made a video about it on my main TikTok page, but there's a there's a time travel way to do it, but I don't time travel. Uh, there's a creator on here called Terrestrial, and she does a lot of um, time travel content and like customization content, and she's really good to go follow and watch her videos. But for me, I use the amiibos because you can invite them. Go to your resident here. Let's just let me just let's just show y'all. I've also, I mean, I've made a, a whole video about this in more detail. But um, here in the resident services, it's not going to let me scan an amiibo because this controller I'm playing with doesn't scan them. But
right here. Invite a camper. That's what you want to do. And then you'll pick your Amiibo coin or card or regular Amiibo, whatever you want to use, and you'll scan it. And the whole campers will come up and be like, oh, do you want to invite this person? So you have to do this three days in a row, and it has to be three in a row. Once you invite that camper, they'll be at your campsite immediately. Go talk to them, and they'll say, oh, I love it here. Make me a craft. And then you have to DIY them something and give them a gift like three days in a row. On the third day, they'll want to move in, and they'll say, oh, I wish I could move in, but your island's full. Can I maybe talk to someone about moving out? And a little bubble will appear with all of your villagers' faces. And you can select the one you want to move out. Then the campsite villager will go talk to that villager and be like, Yeah, Ribbot said he'd move out so I can move in. And then the next day, Ribbot's house will be packed up. You can also get... Um, the Nintendo subscription. I recommend the Nintendo subscription because you can play Ocarina of Time. If you want to play online on other people's islands, you have to have some form of Nintendo online. It doesn't have to be the Expansion Plus, but it's got to be some, some kind of Nintendo online. I don't know where that locust just went. There it went. Man, that went jumped far. Amiibos are the little, like, figurines that you can buy at, like, GameStop and Walmart and anywhere they sell games, pretty much, that look like the villager. Um, but sometimes they're hard to find, and this way you get to pick exactly what you want. But also, if I can stretch... Oh, God. On Amazon, I found these. And it's like a pack that's got these like mini amiibo cards. This pack's got Marshall. Um, I don't even know who all's in here. But um, these are amiibo cards as well, but you don't get to pick which ones. They come just as this set. But I got those on Amazon and they're gonna be part of my giveaway that I'm doing. Yeah, I invited Phoebe with the amiibo coin. And now she lives here. She's pretty cool. Let's finish off the last of our bugs here. I think that's it. Yeah, the rest of these are fish. Shish. All right, Flick, where'd you go? There you are. Look at Stinky doing a beach workout. I've got a bug to sell. Got several bugs to sell. That's what I thought. All the bells. Oh. Okay, Flick. I like Flick. He's adorable. Oh, I see another balloon. Lots of balloons today. Boom. That's how we do it. He won't offer you pigeon milk right away. <laughs> Your stream is what I need right now? Oh, thank you. Well, thank you for being here. We're just having a chill vibe afternoon here today trying to just relax and be comfy uh, I don't know what you have against pigeon milk all these bells <coughs> do you have kids I do not never watch TikTok lives but yours I make an exception thank you Amber 
No, Rocket by Shady, we don't have children, and um, we will not be having children, so. Well, then you know where the source is. Brewster's a legit guy. Speaking of Brewster, now that I've deposited Child Free, yeah. They were not for me, and considering all the health issues I have, I would prefer not to pass any weird diseases down to my children. So, we took care of that earlier in the year. <laughs> you know, it didn't even occur to me that Brewster was making his own pigeon milk. I always thought he was, like, also an owl, because he's friends with... Uh, blathers but I guess he is making his own pigeon milk I mean I don't see a problem with that <laughs> what is my purpose right now I don't know just just wandering just wandering around my island it's like all the bugs just like disappeared there's a butterfly I catch you. I could go back to sleep. I'm so tired. Did I shake all these trees? Yeah. God. I need to go to I need to take an island tour and get my daily DIY. Oh no. I did say I wanted bugs. They knew you were coming, right? Bye bye, Net. Did I get a DIY off the beach today? I truly don't remember. Well, I guess it answers that question. Complaining to Isabel is not going to do anything. I was just talking uh, about this. I use amiibos. And I made a video about it, so if you are curious on how to use amiibos to get rid of a villager, go check out my my video. Complained about Deidre and she moved away? I can't is get Isabel to do shit for me. So m more power to you if you got her to move a villager out. I don't know. I mean, people say that kind of stuff all the time, but I don't know. Talking to Isabel doesn't do anything. Yeah. My favorite villager is Carlos, followed very closely by Marshall. I have a lot of really good villagers. Um, least favorite. I tend to not like the jockey style villagers, but I do have Stinky on my island, and he's a lot of fun. I, I like Stinky. He's an exception to that rule. Didn't mean to dig that one. There we go. Didn't, definitely didn't mean to dig that one. There it is. There it is. That's what we're looking for. Boom. It doesn't matter. It just what it. You have to have all the ten slots full to get your five star, but it doesn't matter at all who it is. What makes a good villager? It just, it's personal preference. Did you get them all through Amiibos? No, some of them um, I hunted, but a lot of them I got through, like Cherry and Lucky, I got so lucky with. Um, I didn't, I have both of them and I don't have the Amiibos for them.
I bought the hell. You know, I have a pack of the of the Sanrio Amiibos, and I have never used them. Move, Felicity. Nobody wanted you here anyway. So many balloons today. Oh, wow. Okay. To make my boyfriend take me to the store to get him amiibos. A spooky table? The next step after finishing Harvey's Island, not else sure what else there is to do. Like to do on Harvey's Island or just to do in the game in general? <laughs> I didn't invite Felicity here, if y'all can't tell. She just filled in. Let's look at that spoopy table. Oh my god, it's a giant pumpkin. <laughs> That's so cute. To do in the game. Um, I don't have a dream address. I guess that kind of depends on where you are in the game and what you want to do. Like some people like to gather villagers photos. I don't care about that. Hi, Mike Wikatsky. Um, I'm trying to finish my museum. I don't, I need more bugs, fish, and like sea creatures. I have all the fossils and I have all the paintings and sculptures done already. And then I'm also trying to get all the stamps in my Nook Miles thing. You can't bury money in the gold hole anymore? Did you kick it in or something? Yeah, they'll tell you when it's done. I literally just started playing today. Oh my gosh. I don't use Treasure Islands. It won't let you. I mean... You have to be holding your shovel and you've got to have a bag of money in your inventory. Not just like, oh, I didn't buy my candy today. Um, the sculptures do come from red. Put all your houses on beaches. That's an interesting tip. Hmm. The candy's part of the Halloween event, but you can only buy one a day. Um. Hi, Bear. Yes, I had my biopsy this morning. Um. It went just as the procedure should, but it was very... Um, stressful and anxiety inducing for me um so you know it's good that the procedure went well there were no snafus it was a quick thing uh we're hoping for results in about a week so that's about it about as well as you could hope Yeah, and I think I'm trying to decide what's worse. When you go in for a procedure and you don't really know anything about it and it's the great unknown that is freaky or like me, when you work in the medical field and you are hyper aware of exactly what's going to happen and the things that can go wrong with it and all of that. It's the burden of knowledge and I'm not quite sure which is worse. They're both awful.
didn't know how long the wait would be. Yeah, like, other than the fact that, um, I had a little trouble with registration and thought I was going to have to throw hands with the lady in registration, everything else went really fine. Like, all the employees were very kind. I felt very well taken care of. Like, kind of everything you can hope for. So, um, yeah, that was, that was good. Biopsy the inside of my lip and the inclusive inner complications. Oof, I'm sorry to hear that. See, the message I sent earlier, no, I guess I didn't. Sorry, it's scrolling kind of quick. I'm trying to read everybody's, but sometimes I do miss some. Um, I have a kidney transplant, and we had to do a biopsy of it today. So that's what I, we had to get up really, really early this morning, um, drive to Dallas. It's a couple hours from where I live, and um, check in at like 7 a.m. for the biopsy. Go through the whole thing, and then a three-hour recovery period where I had to stay in bed. And then we drove home. So it's just been a really long day. It's been a really long day. Reception is always difficult. Yeah, I was heated, to say the least. ACH, exactly. That's why I chose this instead of, like, a Zelda game like I would usually play in the evening. So... A heart transplant. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it's uh, transplant people. We're a mess. <laughs> Conroe, I live in Tyler. <laughs> Hello, Conroe. What is the issue with reception? Okay, so a lot of insurances when, okay, so say like I need a biopsy. My doctor sends in an order and says, this girl needs a biopsy, stat. Sends it in on a Friday. Um, the order goes to pre-cert, and essentially that means that before you're allowed to schedule the biopsy, they have to um, go through your insurance and make sure that it's approved for your insurance um, for you to have this procedure for the insurance to help pay for the procedure. So then I scheduled it. Um, and then when I went to go check in today, they were like, I'm already so sorry. <laughs> yeah. When they went to check in today, like the lady who was checking me in had to keep getting up and going and asking questions to someone else. And I wasn't that comp. She had to do a name change because for whatever reason you play roller derby in Tyler sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Like, and the lady was super nice, but it was really frustrating because I don't know if she didn't know how to do her job. Or if it really was that difficult what she was doing. But, like, the name change part of it she had to do. And then she makes a copy. Of, she has my insurance card in her hand in front of her. And she's like, oh, do you have web TPA? I said, no. I have health first. It's right there on that card in front of you. Oh, well, who is it through? I'm like, it's through my employer. Look right there. And... um so she keeps having to get up and get, and then she tells me like, oh, well, the computer's telling me that I am supposed to contact, you know, your payer and all this, but they're not open yet and blah, blah, blah. And I lost my mind. She sends me back out to the waiting room. I see my husband and I said, I'm going to fight somebody today. And he's like, what's wrong? So I'm telling him, I'm like pacing um, the poor registration lady 
I was like, so who's going to come out and help me with this? And who's going to come out and speak to me about this? She's like, oh, I'll be right back out. And then she starts taking other people that need to be checked in. And then the manager comes out. And the manager's like, well, your insurance is through Cigna and na 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 na. And I said, okay, so what's the problem here? Is this a mistake on y'all's end because nobody contacted my insurance like I was told they did? Or is this an insurance issue on Cigna's end because I was told I couldn't even make this appointment that I'm here for this morning until it had gone through pre-cert? And she was like, well, you know, they're not open. We're trying to call them and this and that, but they're not open. And, you know, then they start talking about payment. And I told her, I said, I'm not paying a penny today because this is your mistake. I'm having this biopsy done today. I am not leaving this building without my procedure. And I'm not paying for it until you file it through my insurance. And at this point, I'm also like sobbing. So that's how my morning started. So anywho, super happy fun time, right? After that, everybody was really nice, but I did threaten to fight them loudly in front of everybody in the lobby, and um, we'll see what happens. Somebody fucked up, and it was not me. Yeah. If you are ever a patient, because I work in healthcare. I work in healthcare. I know how this Because my insurance is technically called Health First, but it rolls through Cigna. Yeah, please know your rights as a patient and advocate for yourself. Like, I, yeah, because I told them straight up. I was like, I'm not paying anything and then trying to do reimbursement. I said, I'm not doing that. That's not how this works. Because I had surgery in January. I met my deductible in January. Most of the cost of this should be covered. Was this at Baylor? <laughs> you know it was. <laughs> it definitely was. So um, I was livid. Like, and the employees were kind. And to bring up payment like that, are you kidding? Yeah. I'm not trying to get stuff for free, but I'm not trying to pay and try to get reimbursed because that's not going to work. Yeah. Yeah, exactly exactly like they should have had it taken care of and they didn't and that's not my fault and um I didn't drive two hours and bite all my fingernails and chew my cuticles off for a week waiting for an appointment because that's as soon as they could get them in yeah Venmo's fam yeah <laughs> it was a horrible way to start off a morning that I have already been just physically like ill about about 2 30 yesterday the butterflies set in and uh Baylor didn't do anything to help my grandma a few years ago yeah it's Baylor's where I had my transplant they're the big transplant place at least for kidneys shut up captain um yeah it it was not pleasant and like, and like none of them were rude, honestly. They were very kind and very accommodating, but I know my freaking rights. There's a list of patient rights that you can look at as a patient and you should be very aware of your rights and what they are allowed to do and what informed consent actually is and things like that. And it's so important because as a medical professional, I, of course, try to advocate for my patients as much as I can, but it's also important that you as a patient are informed as well. And, you know, you have to sign off like this says that you've been informed of your patient rights, but they don't actually go over the patient rights with you. Always read your patient rights. Yeah, you can skip his songs by pressing B. Press B repeatedly. Yeah, exactly. Like, don't fuck with me. I am informed. <laughs> I've been a transplant patient since I was 18 years old, and I am 36 years old now. I've been sick since I was 16. And not only that, I work in the medical field. So do not fuck with my medical care. So, <laughs> you like my little, my little faux Link outfit, Timmy? 
It's called a Sprite outfit. It's like a Sprite costume. And I put boots with it, and then I got the sword from Kix. So, like, when I go get IVs for procedures, I tell them that they do not have my consent to put them in my hand. My hands are shot. Um, just from years of use. And, um, I'm not an easy stick, and I don't like being stuck. And... People, when I tell them, like, oh, I'm not an easy stick in the hand, don't stick me in the hand, some people take it as a challenge, but you don't have to give consent for that. Your character looks so surprised. <laughs> She's got big eyes. I'm from the UK, so it blows my mind. You guys have to pay for your medical treatment. Yep. Yeah. It's it's crazy. Hate the hand for the IV so thin and uncomfortable. Yeah. Like part of my treatment getting my disease in remission was like doing these IV at home like steroid treatments and it just scarred up my hands and made me really hard sticks there and that kind of thing. And so um yeah. There are only a few islands captain takes to yeah. See, exactly. So, like, see, this is why I brought to the sword I got from Kix, the little, like, skunk guy that sells um, shoes. He has accessories and stuff, too. Outrageous bless. Yeah, it, it was a lot this morning. It was a lot. So, like, okay, when you have a kidney transplant, they put your new kidney down in like your pelvic cavity. And so um, when I had to go get like ultrasounds, you can't see my, you can't see my right ovary. My kidney sits over it. So you can't see it in ultrasound. And a lot of the techs take that as a challenge to try to like jam it into me and go around and this and that and it's not me telling you to, oh, you should definitely try jamming that wand deeper into my abdomen. Uh. See, yeah, and that's different. If you know you've got a good IV, like, spot, then heck yeah, tell somebody. But if I tell you that not to stick it in my hand, it's not because I'm a little weenie. It's because my hands are shit. And I don't want to be stuck there because you're not going to be able to get it. What did I jump into? Animal Crossing with a side of medical talk. What is that? Oh, it was a sturgeon. Yeah. And like, okay, I had to have I had to have labs drawn beforehand, and. My fault on the ladder. No, it's all good. A lot of my life is medical stuff. Um, jab deeper into my abdomen. Yeah. <laughs> what an iconic fish to catch today. You're not wrong. An ironic fish. Yeah. <laughs> Couldn't you do surgery? Can you do a biopsy of my transplanted kidney? I was told my doctor was there. <laughs> he walks by. Yeah. Yeah, I have got the nastiest bruise. Hold on. Let me... Look at that. That is a failed IV attempt from this morning. That's just from this morning. So that's gonna be a that's gonna be there for like a month. Yeah. A sturgeon of the day for the first time? Nice. Yeah. Me too. Me too. And that's the thing is like, you know, you can't drink or eat after midnight. So yesterday I drank like 90 ounces of water trying to uh, make sure my veins were good and plump. But um, anyway, yeah. Okay. They were So I got stuck three times today. They drew my labs. 
they failed an IV attempt and then they started an IV. It's very gremlins. <laughs> it eventually gets, yeah. Um, but like sometimes people don't read your chart before they draw blood on you. And so when she's going to draw blood, I said, are you running a pregnancy test? And she was like, no. And I said, good, because I've had a hysterectomy and a lot of people look at my age and don't look at my history and just assume because I'm still within childbearing years that they need to draw a pregnancy test and I'm not going to pay for that. I almost asked, so you're cutting the trees on your island? Yeah. When, when people hop in the middle, I always get that question. What are you chopping all your trees down for? And I'm like, I'm not. It's cool. No worries. I get cranky. They can't do my surgery. Yeah. Fasting is the worst. That's why I always try to schedule as early as possible if I know I'm going to have to be NPO. How much is it to get a PO box? It differs from location to location. Like, honestly, even in my own town, like, depending on the post office I chose, it differed in price. Uh, do you find Animal Crossing boring since there's no more updates? No, I take comfort in repetition, honestly. Um, <laughs> the crackers after surgery really slap. <laughs> You're not, oh my god, that's funny. Uh, how much is yours? I pay, hmm, I think I paid for six months, and I think it was like a hundred dollars, but I got the medium-sized one. It's like a five and a half by eleven, I think. These yellow flowers, these are like, I think these are called like the tea olive bushes. You should start playing again. They're in season right now, and I think Leaf will sell them to you. Or you can come to a mystery island and steal them. Six surgeries and I'm only 21. I hate that for you, and I also feel that. Made change, and I don't, yeah. I hate when they make changes to the games that I, yeah, I don't know if I can play this. Yeah, if it's too big of a change, yeah, I feel that. I mean, but honestly, also, like, streaming helps. Um, because a lot of new people pop in and ask questions, and I like talking to y'all, and I like answering the questions and stuff, so. The Mystery Islands are the ones you go to via plane or boat. You can use a Nook Miles ticket to go on the plane or spend a thousand Nook Miles on the boat after you open up access to the boat. I thought about opening up my island. I didn't work at that five star ready for nothing. You should just, I mean, be aware. Don't let people steal stuff. Because um, they'll come and ravage it if you let them. But then you can always just open it up to friends or whoever. You don't have to open it up to strangers. And now you can drink energy drinks during the match. <laughs> That's funny. The two Sahara tickets. So when you get... Oops, I didn't mean to push that. When you get a certain amount of Sahara tickets, you can give them to her and trade them for, like, rugs and things instead of spending bells. How come there's no more of that thing? Yeah, uh, Nintendo has said that after Happy Homes Paradise, that's it. They're not updating it anymore, and I think they're very stupid for doing that. Thanks, no problem. Um, this could be like when you used to buy all the Sims expansions. Like Sims Nightlife, Sims Pets, Sims College, Sims whatever. Like They could do that with Animal Crossing, and I'd buy every damn one of those updates. But... Why would we? I, mean, I don't understand. I just don't understand their thinking. The same reason they haven't ported Twilight Princess and Wind Waker to the Switch because everybody wants it and they would love that. Showing your island live is great. I would love to do that. Yeah. It's fun. I like going live. 
and it's helpful. I don't, I know a lot about Animal Crossing, but I don't know everything about Animal Crossing. Chopping your trees. I'm on a mystery island, so I'm just ravaging the island. They're not my trees. It's been so much more running on updates rather than Animal Crossing. Yeah, for real. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, you can always do the dream address. Um, the dream address, can, people can come and see your island without stealing. Too many decisions seem about control. Yeah. Let's catch some more fish. Let's fill our pockets with fish. Fish pockets. I think I'm too close. Nope. Right on the nose. All of the wands you can like set outfits to and then change your outfits just with the wand, but then it takes that clothing out of your regular wardrobe. You can't just pick it. It's like assigned to a wand outfit. I never use the wands, but I've seen a lot of people who come to the, my island to visit or whatever, and they have like the cutest outfit set to their wands. You just like wave your wand and it changes your outfit. <laughs> oh, bear. Started decorating for Halloween. Yes. I told my husband the other day we need to get the Halloween decorations done out of the attic. And he was like, why? I said, because it's October. And he's like, but we're not even going to be here for Halloween. You know? And I was like, oh, but still. Because we won't be here for Halloween, but that's not the point. You can cook with some of the fish if you know the recipes. And sometimes by catching the fish, you'll pull a tilapia out and be like, hmm, I just thought of a recipe for this. So sometimes you'll learn recipes that way. Can't save a pup and say, hey, hey, good to see you. Oh, thank you for the, the hand hearts. Everyone else will be, yeah, I know. We just chillin'. We just chillin' today. Taking it easy. I wish you could build and run actual stores. Yeah. Like, I mean, you can decorate those stores in happy homes, but you can't really run them or do anything with them. See? That would be a cool update. Oh, another sturgeon. The universe is just laughing in my face today. <laughs> I'm doing okay, Dana. Thank you for asking. Someone built a Home Depot on their island. That's impressive. It's the fish of the day. It really is. Maybe I'll get to play the Fish Fest or whatever it's called on Saturday fishing tournament thing. The most metal of all fish. Having people visit happy homes would be nice, yes. Don't add weights to your fish. I'm, I'm looking around like I'm going to look around my pole like, God, Shannon, silly goose. And there goes my pole. And that's the only one of those I brought. Okay. So let's condense down. You just broke right now, too. They break so easily, I feel like. It's like playing Breath of the Wild here, shit. I knew that bug would fly off as soon as I came up here. Punk. 
I'm about to just dig up these bushes and fill my pockets with them. There we go. No, the golden tools just don't break as easy. The best way to get five stars. Um, the best way to get five stars is to have a good combination of DIYs and items you purchased from the Nook Miles uh, thing and do some customization. Make sure you've got all your bridges and uh, lots of fencing is always a good idea. Don't forget to decorate your beaches. Uh, you can put stuff out on your beaches, but still make sure it's neat and tidy as well. I did see that that Mar Mario movie trailer is coming out on Thursday. I'm very curious about it. Oh, he jumped right in the water. How do you get a better axe? You need to get the DIYs. I'm about to crawl up on the couch and go to sleep. Me too. I think so. I'm, I'm fading, I think. I'm going to go sell all this shit to Flick and then probably call it a day. No, this is a mystery island. Yeah, because isn't freaking Chris Pratt voicing Mario? I'm also hungry. I could eat again. Yeah, at this point, I should just go to bed. It's almost six. Yeah. Exactly. Seth Rogen is Donkey Kong. <laughs> That'll be interesting. It's not like I can go see it in theaters, though, so I'll just have to wait for it to come out on stream or something. I don't go see kids' movies in theaters because I don't enjoy being around children, so that just seems fair. 7 p.m. here, that's my bedtime threshold. <laughs> Danny DeVito. <laughs> it's a me, Star Lord. I mean, Mario. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> uh, Y'all are hilarious. It's going to be bad, y'all. It's going to be bad. I don't have high hopes for this movie. All right, let's put away the good stuff. Actually, I can drop that. Oh, my legs are falling asleep. I liked the Sonic movie. At least when they first released the Sonic movie images and the fans were in an uproar, they actually went in and redid it and made him look a lot better. But, like, I thought the first Sonic movie was really fun. I didn't see the second one. No, Chris Pratt. I am Mario. <laughs> yeah, Mario, why aren't you starring in this movie? Too busy with Rad Tech School? I get it. At least we have The Witcher. I have not watched Witcher. You have to pay Tom Nook a pretty penny for all that home storage. The, the storage is just home. It's your home storage. You just get access to it other places 
ACNH is my favorite. Welcome. I love it. The circles on the ground on the walking paths, they're manhole covers. Different, you can uh, DIY manhole covers in different designs. See these flowers? Like these? Oh, see you later, watering can. Pink flowers or whatever color you are, you don't belong here. Oh no, not the gold ones. It's fine, they'll grow more. I like black. Black only. The star-shaped net is my favorite net too. Ah, Marina, don't scare them away. She's gonna come lay in my hammock in my yard. The fishing pole with the duck on the end is my favorite too. Did I water that? No, I didn't. Oh wait, yes I did, okay. An octopus, yes, her name is Marina. She's sweet. There we go. I like the elephant watering can as well. Very similar taste here. Yeah. Ugh, I really have, I, there is very few things I actually like in Jack Black about. Do you have the pictures of your Islanders? No, I, um, I don't collect the pictures. I don't see the point. Sorry, I've got to adjust my footstool. Oh, I'm a little uncomfortable. So glad you stream ACNH right now. I always have to miss it in the mornings because school. Thank you for joining. We are getting close to the end just because I'm just, I'm tired and I'm getting kind of uncomfortable sitting here. I think I need to go stretch out. My incision's a little achy. I always watch your morning streams on Twitch. Oh, yay. Thank you. I do upload them to YouTube as well. Um, the best way to get a villager to leave um, some people say you can do it from time travel. I don't know how to do that. Um, Terrestrial is a streamer that's really good, and she does time traveling tips. I like to use Amiibos. I've made a video about it that's on my TikTok page about how to use Amiibos to get rid of them. It takes three days, but you can do it that way. There you go. Block your villagers. They can't leave. There you go. Just got my first cooking DIY. New phone upgrade, but I couldn't find it. Any tips? Usually, um, usually the phone upgrades and stuff come from the Nook Miles thing. The, um, the ATM here. Yeah, ATM and resident services. Thank you. Words is hard. Amiibo video is great. Thank you. Like the Nintendo app on your actual phone? I want you to get ready in the morning on Twitch. Wait, I don't stream that. <laughs> Um, a lot of the stuff is, oh, this is not what I meant to do. I guess we could have looked at that though. I haven't looked at that lately. So I like using the Nintendo app on my phone for this game specifically, um, 
because instead of having to like select letters, you can actually just like type it like a text and your character will speak it. So when people come and visit, it's just easier for me to use that. And you can do voice chat as well if you're into that. Sweatpants. That's cute. Is there a bonus if you have pocket camp? I don't know. It should be in here, I feel like. But I don't know. Oh, all right. I've got to go lay down. I'm kind of hurting, so. Anywho. Do my usual here. There we go. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. <laughs> I'm going to go lay down and rest. Maybe try to find some food to eat. Thank you guys. And then I'm not working tomorrow, so I, um, I plan on streaming. I love you guys too. Thank you so much for, like, this is such a fun little community, and everyone is so kind. Um... I just have to pay down those credit cards. Good seeing you too. How often do you stream? I I try to stream Animal Crossing every morning before I go to work. I'm in the central time zone, so it usually starts between 7 and 7.30 in the morning. Um, there won't be a lot of morning streams this week because when I do go back to work, I'm working the early shift. Um, things will get a little more back to normal next week. But follow me here. Um... I have a Discord that's linked in my bio, and um, usually I won't at everybody early in the morning, but if I go live in the evenings or in the afternoons, I try to remember to at everybody so y'all know I'm live. But Shan fam, I'm leaving. I'm sorry, Mason. I gotta go lay down. I'm tired. I had to drive and missed it. Oh, it's okay. I'll stream tomorrow. I'll stream something tomorrow. Because I'll be sitting here all day going crazy, not being allowed to work or lift anything over 10 pounds. So I can't do anything. Just caught a damn sturgeon. It's sturgeon day. Y'all have a good night. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Breath <laughs> We still haven't finished all the taluses. So y'all have a lovely evening or day or wherever you are. 